Hello and welcome to my video series about programming graphical user interfaces or GUIs in C++. Do all of your programs currently look like this? Then these videos are definitely for you. It is perfectly fine if you have never written a GUI program in C++ or any other language before. However, I do expect that you know the basics of C++ for this series. How can we write a GUI application in C++? Well, the thing is that C++ does not come with a standard GUI library like some other languages do. So what options are available? On Windows, you can use the Win32 API to create a native Windows application, but it can be quite challenging to learn. The code you see here is what Visual Studio generates when you create a Win32 project. All this code does is show a pretty basic window. Another drawback of Win32 is that your application will only run on Windows. There are also options for creating GUIs on Linux and Mac, but in this series we take a different approach. We will use a library called WX Widgets, which lets you create cross-platform GUI applications. Here is what that means. You don't have to write separate versions of your application for Windows, Linux and Mac. Instead, you just write your application once, and then it can be compiled and run on any of those platforms. Another cool thing about WX Widgets is that it uses the platform's native controls. As an example, I wrote a little application with some common controls and ran it on Windows, Linux and Mac. You can see that the buttons and other controls look the way you would expect on these platforms. I really hope you want to join me in this series. The next video will take you through the installation of WX widgets. Don't worry if you have never installed a C++ library before. I will take you through it step by step. Let's learn how to create cross-platform GUIs in C++.